Alrighty guys, I think our stream is up and going. I see some comments popping up there now. Um, so we have this fun YouTube music that I can play in the background now. It's kind of cheesy music, but it's like weird electronic stuff. If it's too loud while I'm uh, doing things, just let me know if you can't hear me or it's like weird. I haven't really uh, played with it yet, so it'll just be this weird mystical dance music, so. Uh, who we got in the chat? We got Ponzi, Jason, Quan, Prince Robert, D&D Nation, Joshua, Brandon. What's up, guys? Uh, so today we're going to be doing a live uh, a live stream of making one of those pre-cut uh, map save games. So I think that'll be fun. Today we are going to be doing... Um, I think we're going to do Larkin. And today we're going to be doing the Skitter Practice one. So I'm going to delete delete our save game one we'll start new here so we're gonna put it on hard because as if there's any other way again that music's pretty loud for me like in my ears if it's too loud for you guys like if you're having troubles hearing me just let me know and i'll i'll turn her down for sure uh so larkin we're gonna do larkin for the skitter one boom yeah okay so let's do it and the only map mods that don't want it, those two should be good. D&D &D says he loves the channel. Thanks, buddy. Appreciate it. D&D &D also lives in Kentucky. That's cool. Very good, very good. Okay, so uh, what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be cutting down a whole bunch of trees with the buncher. So, do some cheats here. So what we need is, uh, let's go with, which puncher are we going to use today? Let's use the JD, because I haven't used this one in a while. I always use the other one, so. Uh, we'll do this one here. Perfect. Okay, so I'm actually going to fly this one out because I want to put it in a different area. I don't want to go too far from home, but I also don't want to be like right out the gate here, so. So what we'll need to do is grab ourselves a tree. A big old tree. Uh, let's just take one of these random trees over here because it doesn't really matter. And then I think I'm going to go down below to actually cut the, uh, cut the parts and pieces out. So just land that there. Oh! Better not forget our chainsaw as well. Alright, let's cut down this one right here. This will be perfect. And then I actually leave these trees uh, on the save games as well. Uh, that way you guys are able to uh, fly your own equipment out without bringing a tree over if you want to. Oops, there we go. So we can fly this guy out of here. Again, I did not pick the uh, YouTube music. <laughs> it's just these random playlists of copyright free music that I can play, so... Forgive me if there's anything on there that sounds bizarre, like this. Okay, so I'm just gonna drop this right there. And basically, like I said, what I'm doing is I'm just putting this tree here so that we have um, something we can use for cutting up the uh, other parts. So I'm just gonna turn that off and that to real time as well. Okay, so let's take a little piece off the top here. Oh, I figured it would actually get rid of that, but I guess not. That's actually way longer than what we need, so we'll cut that again one more time. So, basically just need a little piece to hook onto the back here. This will be the only one I'm actually um, doing kind of a, a live action. The other ones I actually turned into time-lapse videos, so that was kind of fun. Like when I cut out the other uh, pre-cut maps. Which another couple of those are coming out here soon, so. Alright, so where are we going with this bad boy? We're going to fly it over... I think actually right in this little valley is actually quite nice, so I might just drop it down here. Like I said, I don't want to go... I don't want to go super far from home here, but... And what we're doing is we're setting up pre-cut uh, trees in bunches of probably three, maybe three to five, I would say, depending on the size of the tree. Oops. Shift B, not enter. Remember that. I'm just gonna... Actually, I can probably sell this chopper now because I don't, I'm not getting needed again. 
Bobcat, I have no choice, buddy. I have no choice. You trust me, I want to be listening to Five Finger Death Punch right now while I log, not this weird music, but I gotta listen to something while I bunch or I'll go crazy. So this is how it's gonna be. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut um Well, I think we could cut maybe a trail actually. It was actually Bobcat's idea was to cut kind of a trail into the bush, so we could technically build your own road or do whatever you want. So let's uh, let's do kind of an offhand, kind of right away cut, and then we'll do kind of a clear cut up higher. And these trees are uh, not super super big, so skidding them I think we can get at least four, maybe five even uh, per shot. I'm gonna center myself here. There we go. So we'll drop these guys down in here. We'll try to make them as nice as possible because you're the guys that'll be skidding them. Not me. Normally I don't care because I'm just like, ah, I can skid them however I want, but we'll try to make them all nice and clean for you guys. Put them that way. And actually, let's, uh, let's grab this one at the back and just put it on top. And some real technical bunching here for you guys. There we go. I think. Oh, no. These rolly trees, I'll tell you, they don't want to stay on top of nothing. That looks better. Good enough. That's a skid. I think I'm just going to follow this uh, line right up. And that's up to you guys how you want to skid them out or where you want to put them. Should begin. Oops. So yeah, I apologize you guys if I'm not reading the chat. I gotta kinda pay attention to my bunching or else there'll be a really nasty pile of trees. So I'll look up at it every once in a while, but if I miss something, it's nothing against you personally. I just gotta pay attention to, you know, operating the equipment and stuff. Maybe I'll grab this one too, just to make it so it's an easy swing. And then this map's gonna come out pretty much right, or this, yeah, this save game's gonna come out pretty much right along when I release the uh, grapple skitter as well, so. The new dangle grapple skitter. I actually just recorded the video for it today, so. That will come out on Friday. And I think this video I'll release tomorrow. For this video, this uh, pre-cut map save game thing tomorrow and then we should be uh yeah all good to go all right we'll do a quick view of the chat here spencer what's up buddy darth says the way the buncher jerked when you grabbed it yeah well the bunchers do some funky things in this game Sometimes it almost looks realistic for about three or four seconds, and then usually kind of goes to hell after that, but... Actually, this is a really nice area to skid, too, because the trees are really spread out. So it gives you lots of room to uh, do skidding. This would also actually be a really good forwarding map, to be honest, just because there's so much room to uh, wiggle about. Like I said, I'm bunching a little bit slower just because I want to try to keep these piles nice. We're not really trying to do a mass buncher competition here. Not yet, anyway. <laughs> I'm going to add that one to this pile, too. I think we should, I think we could add this one, too. Just one more, why not? I'm going to start to kind of make a, a, a turn here, because I think we're coming up on the edge of a cliff, the edge of a really sharp hill. It's all about where you drop these. Sometimes they just don't want to settle very well. I'm try to roll away on us. Roll away. Stay together forever. Whatever, that new skitter won't have any problems with that. It'll be able to clean that up. Feels like elevator music. Yes, it's worse than elevator music, Bobcat. It's something something much darker, I don't know. Something much worse than elevator music. 
it's like it's like um you know what it reminds me of it reminds me of uh like the level select of like a really old school like playstation game or something like when you're on a select your level there you go this one's got a little bit more a little bit more groove to it still really cheesy music though i'm not gonna lie if only youtube wasn't such a bitch about it's uh, copyright stuff. Uh, oh yeah, I want this one too. And that actually looked like a really realistic bunch of grab that one. The way all the uh, sawdust and stuff blew out. Is there a roll in here? We'll just push them all down there. I sniffed one. Oh no. Oh no. Hmm. Just making a rake of couple of this. Good enough. It'll be a challenge for a skitterman somewhere. That looks good. What is the next mod I'm making? I don't know. Uh, the next mod I'm releasing is going to be the, um, the uh, skitter, grapple skitter. That'll be fun. Next mod I'm making, uh, probably the dozer version of the grapple skitter. That's probably the one I'm going to be working on here today or tomorrow, I think. And uh, yeah, there's a couple other, couple other things I have in the works right now. Like I said, I have quite a, quite a pile of mods that I got to come out already. And then you're gonna see a slight decline here for a bit once the uh, once the new game comes out. So we're pretty much dropping our 2017 support and moving straight on to 2019, which will be exciting. Backtrack and see where we're going here. So we got our little path down there. Uh, let's see here. Go back and focus on our road here. I just like to make it look really obvious. And usually what I do is I'll buy an in-game crappy truck, and a red one, and I'll park it at the entrance just so people know where they're supposed to go. But yeah, those will be a nice little, nice little practice spot for skitters. Like I said, there's not like a lot of wood. So it'll be uh, it'll be good just to give people some space. Now we're definitely gonna go right, I think, and then we'll go down this. How far can we go down this hill? I just want to make sure I'm choosing the right path here. <laughs> Does it drop off to like a sheer cliff? Kinda. I think we can work that out. We'll bump it back. That's the plan. All right, continue the quest. A swamp logger map would be cool. I don't log, but I can think so. Be cool to make a swamp logging. Map. Yeah, swamp logging is something I definitely am interested in. We had a uh, a tiny bit of experience making those maps from 2015. We had one in 2017, uh, that Clemens Landing one, that was kind of swampy, I guess you could say. Sort of swampy-ish. That actually turned out to be pretty fun, but I never did do a remake of that one just because I didn't. Uh, I had some problems with the trees and some other stuff. So. Now the question is, how far can we go with this trail? We could just do half the map if we really wanted to. Oops. 
That's good. I'll have a nice shredded end for the processor to play with. Get off of me. Get off of me. Santos in Austin. What's up, gangs? What's happening? There we go, good enough. And then we're gonna throw some on this side too. Give the right side some love. Maybe we'll back that up a little bit. Because I don't want it teeter tottering. Now these these trees, some of them are thin enough. I should actually be able to get a couple of them to grab here. Get these red or these uh, kind of bluish bark ones here. Should have no problem getting two of these. I say that now, anyway. <laughs> there we go. What's up, man? Welcome to the very long, maybe not the most interesting stream in the world, but I'm enjoying myself, and that's the important part. This part. is going to be the problem here, is the stuff wants to go slip away on a chain. Can't go faster, Chad, because I want the piles to look nice. <laughs> Can't do it. Can't do it, won't do it. And normally when we're playing, we could just uh, throw them in big heaps and not give a crap. Because the line skitter could come and just go tick, 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 tick. But. I want this to be able to be grapple skidded. That's kind of the idea. Since, you know, it's kind of coming out at the same time as the new grapple skidder. I want it to all be nice and pretty. I think we'll just kind of keep working and kind of down this crappy hill. I'm just gonna lay these in here. to actually run this thing in real life there, David. I want to run a real one. It'd be so sweet. But, punchers aren't things people really let people go mess around with, generally. It's actually a very sought-after position, being a bungerman. Up here it is, anyhow. A lot of people want to do it, but... Nobody can get a seat in it. I think it's probably because it's the one job that doesn't seem quite as boring. Just because you're constantly moving in new terrain and breaking stuff. And, I, mean, I think I think that's kind of fun. Uh, I don't know about these ones. I'm just going to lay them right here. Make it a challenging skitter spot. I think we could all be the best operators if the physics would actually respond properly to the game. That'd be probably the tell. I think there'd be a lot more good operators if the physics weren't so unpredictable. Alright, can we get a third one in here without wrecking it? Probably not. There we go. Good enough. I guess we're descending down the hill now. 
So now, I guess you have the option at this point to skid up the hill if you really want to, or start a new section here. But I'm just going to keep laying them as if we're going back the way we came. I guess it could be a fun challenge for somebody. actually would be, I should have done this one as the border map for how much these are spaced out, it actually would have been pretty good. But I mean, technically you can come on to any of these maps and do whatever you want anyway, so no big deal. I have no idea exactly which direction I'm going to go. I think I'm just going to keep kind of cut out this corner maybe, and then we'll turn hard left and head into the woods. And then in 2019, hopefully we can build uh, a bunch of similar to this one. And I want to add, I would like to add, a uh, collection arm on it. Kind of like the old one. I have some ideas for making a really good collection arm. Um, I have no idea if they'll actually work or not, but I'd love to try. limbs. That happens in real life, right? Floating limbs? Totally. There we go. Jay Harris. What's up, buddy? Yeah, I think um, like having having a little bit of experience definitely helps. Like even playing this game, I wouldn't be able to run real life machines anywhere near as good as I actually do without being you know all this time playing this game. The things in real life, obviously, that you got to get used to is you know weights. Um, you know when you're actually working on a real life machine, you don't want to work very you know crazy fast. You're not really trying to impress anybody. You just want to get the job done without getting anybody killed or breaking the machine. That and hydraulics are the other thing. When you're on real life machines, it's uh, the hydraulics can sometimes play a funner part, not letting you do the things you want to. In this game, you can pretty much do whatever you want because it's, you know, virtual, but real life, you gotta be a lot more careful. So you can't haphazardly whip trees around or, you know, do crazy things. Well, you can, you just gotta do it where there's nobody around and as long as you own the machine, I guess it don't matter. 
But I, you know, I long for a game that can imitate, uh, you know, proper ground physics and proper. You know, I would love to be able to dig a hole with an excavator virtually in a game and have it actually like tear up the ground at least semi-realistically. I think that'd be pretty sweet. But so far, we don't have anything that can really imitate that very well. I know Construction Simulator had some uh, had some sort of all right ground physics, but the problem is it's like. Sometimes I just want to get into a game and sit there and dig a hole. I don't really want to go through the process of, um, you know, building up a company and buying the equipment and starting small and things like. I just want to go into dig a hole simulator, and that's kind of how I feel about logging. Sometimes I just want to, um, I just want to come in here, sit down, and start chopping down trees. I don't want to have to go through playing the game's campaign and blah blah blah. It's all about how you feel and what you want to do. Everybody's different. Am I ready for 2019? I am, well, I don't know. I wouldn't say we're ready for 2019, but we're we're ready to start doing stuff on 2019. Yeah, we're definitely uh, gearing up to get going for sure. Just need the game to actually come out first. <laughs> I really wish they would like preemptively release the the mod engine to us. I think that'd be sweet, so that we can kind of get started on things. I think that'll be a cool day in hell before that happens. Close enough. Or actually, let's bump it this way. What is going on? See, the physics are just bizarre. If real trees were to like shake around like that and jump up, it'd probably be a pretty scary world. Whatever. I'm just leaving that pile. That'll be the test. Yeah, that's also true. Like Bobcat says, you don't get the feel for the um, you don't get the feel for the machines like. It's like a, a sixth sense you almost develop when you're operating real equipment because you can feel the movement, the ground, the, f the pressure of the object that you're picking up in the hydraulics. Like you can, you know, it's like driving a car versus a car simulator. In a, in a car you can develop this kind of like, like I said, you know, spidey senses for knowing where the ends of your car is and how your tires are hitting the road and vibrations and sensations, right? Um, that's one thing that simulators like this don't offer you, is you can't really get that collective feeling of knowing your machine. That's why actually what I did try one time, at least in uh, 2015, was I tried it through sounds. So what I put is I put like a, a rumble pad kind of thing in my seat, and I, I set the sound effects in game to have really heavy bass. So even when the processor machine was roll like the rollers were running a log through, it was like this really heavy rumble. So I could actually feel it in my seat, which kind of gave you like this really third party sense of being able to feel the machine. It was so weird, but it was a lot of chords and a lot of screwing around. And I just uh, gave it up because it wasn't, uh, wasn't worth it. Too much stuff to maintain. It was fun for a while though. Nothing like feeling the vibration in your butt while you're playing. Actually, the only game I really, really liked it on was uh, Euro Truck Simulator. It was really cool on that. Daniel Lee, what's up? This hill, because if not, they're gonna start getting rolly on us here. Oh, that's glitchy. Drop the tree, man. Put the tree down. Turn her blade off, because it's gonna get messy here. Really. Yeah, 
Man, that song reminds me of Surgeon Simulator. That used to be on Surgeon Simulator, this song? I swear to God. Sounds very similar. I imagine when that game was in beta, they probably used YouTube's free music. Why wouldn't you? Let's just... Be a really weird skid this one. They're all the same, it won't be any fun. You gotta challenge it, right? Like clean those bits off of you. Sure, we'll just have a weird skid. Alright, let's figure out where we're going here. So we have this kind of wacky little trail up here. Oh, I wish that mud just stayed forever, like your tracks. Wouldn't that be sweet? Then it would always have like this kind of like muddy trail. Yeah, it'd be sweet. Um, we keep going up. I think it kind of goes up here, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. Let's just keep going up. Head's actually on this time. That's good. Oops. Depth perception. That's another thing that we miss in these games. I would love for them to get this into VR. It'd be so sweet. I mean, I don't see that coming anytime soon, but never know. They had track IR. I mean, that's a start. But just to be able to have depth perception while playing, like stereo screens. Oh man, that'd be so crazy. I'd have like a big welt in my head from using VR headset playing this whole time. All the trees are starting to start rolling on their own again. I have to go fix that file. Great. I'll tell you, the trees in this game sometimes just make no sense. It's like they're sitting on KY Jelly. They just slide on their own. I hope they have, um, in 2019, I hope they've given us more physics options for the trees more downward slide is the one that drives me bonkers. I just hate when they slide straight up and down a hill. I mean, real life trees can slide on stuff too, like, you know, when it's wet and nasty out, but it shouldn't be just randomly rotating for the joy of it. Or like, be able to control the physics on a settle time, that'd be, that'd be badass too. And we could just make the tree physics settle seconds after they land instead of like two minutes after it settles. That'd be sweet. More than likely not though. Oops. Oh, pretty close to the pond. Oh, kinda cookie dough that one, didn't we? Holy. Also something I gotta fix in the new game. We can't cookie cutter anymore. Hey. Yeah. Oh, hills are my worst enemy when you're bunching. When you're doing forwarding, not so bad. Because uh, when you're forwarding, at least the piles are small. There's no teeter-totter effect in the weight of the trees. So I'm actually going to bring these up the hill. I'm not, not going to bump them on the hill. Oops. Holy lord. Actually, here's probably flat enough. Other pile, probably. Close enough. Let's grab just a couple more of these just so we have a complete pile. Uh, this map, what map is this? This is uh, Larkin Springs, it's called. It's one of my earlier logging maps that got remastered. But you can get it from the Google 
the Google Drive link, which should, in theory, be in the description of the live stream or every video. It's all the same, so. Yeah. Good times. Jeremy Stewart. What's up, man? Shark Hunter. What's up, buddy? How do I find time to stream? I'm actually on vacation right now. That's the only reason I have time in the middle of the day. I have uh, four days off, which is a vacation for me. But, um... Yeah, I needed the time because I had to finish up recording some videos and a whole bunch of modding stuff that I need to get figured out. And I'm still nowhere near done my uh, modding stuff that I wanted to get completed, so I gotta probably hit that up again some more today. I just wanted to take a break and I'm like, hey, well, I need to make another pre-cut map, so I might as well uh, live stream it. Show you guys how it's done. I'll just go right up into this hole up here. It's a terrible place to uh, do anything re related to logging. We'll just hide some bunches up here. I want to take out this tree and this tree next to me would be handy. See that there's a stump here. Hmm. Keeping the limbs on there, huh? Hmm. Pretty sure people will be able to follow the trend that it goes up the hill. Maybe. Just maybe. Pull up. Take this one with us here. And this is a terrible area to uh, skid to. Let's get. You guys can learn the terrible areas just as fun as the, uh, the good areas. Just yeah, because physics do that. What a dreadful area! It's all pokey. My tracks don't like it. See if we can go get it. Yeah, rest. Rest, that'd be a thing. Uh, okay, we're just gonna go fishing here and hopefully we can. It's kind of there. Yeah, that's a good guess. <laughs> Left like all the limbs on it. for the customers here. There we go. Okay, now... Yeah, that actually make... If I can get the lighting right, this would make a really nice picture, I think. Maybe if we turn it that way. Five minute photography session. Stock images here. There we go. Let's do that. That looks kind of right. Sure, why not? Alright, now where are we gonna go? Let's kind of bunch this hill right up to the top, eh? Uh, Shark, this one's going to be for skidding. Uh, people who want to practice skidding. That's why I'm doing these kind of small little bunches that are usually a little bit straighter. Probably 
give people the option to uh, bring their skids till their heart's content all the way back to wherever they want to go. This one in here, actually. Oh, good lord. Some of these trees just aren't cutting me as uh, nice as they could, but you get these nice little cookie piles. Take a cookie. Take a note. These are fun. Oh, can we balance them? Aw, oh, almost balanced them. Well, that was fun. Back to work. I'm actually going to get both of these two trees and bring them back to that pile. I don't want less than four in a pile. It just makes it feel like a wasted skid. that many people that really need to practice skidding but so we got a loader map uh so we got loader map a processor map a bunching or a bunching skidding map now that we this one what was the other one? Oh, the forwarder map that was the other one i'm not sure what else we need i mean we could do a pre-cut chip pile map for people who just want to go load chips all day i guess Oops, that doesn't sound like very much fun though I mean, anybody can just walk into the bush and chip up as much as they want. Picked uh, Sitka for the loader map, which is actually really good because there's so many trees. I actually cut for almost like an hour and a half, I think, or maybe two hours, just making piles of hollow logs. It actually turned out pretty good, I think. I could probably spend weeks, honestly, just cutting piles of timber on some of these maps. It's crazy. Oops. Oh, bugger. I turned my blade off. Apparently not. This little shrapnel piece out here. Hey, I'm gonna try to fish this one out now. The uh, buncher claws are not as quite as accurate as the loader for sure. There we go. Good enough. Alright. So where does this go? We're going to go right up to this corner against the wall here and then I think that's as far as we're going to go for skidding. That's a sheer cliff. And that's a sure clip. So this will be kind of the end. We can cut right into this corner. I think that will begin. So let's cut a bunch of this down in its own awkward way. Oh, that's better. You know me, all about them pictures. You gotta have pictures. All right, so. I can just stand like right here. Ooh, a little teetery. As long as we stick to these little trees, shouldn't be a problem. Just the little wiener ones here. Let's get this one here as well. And then, um, we 
kind of wanted to do just a clear cut section. This is kind of more of a meandery road you get to follow. Um, I wouldn't mind going to an area where it's flat where I could just do a giant clear cut. See, I hate how they slide down the hill like that. Stop it. Stop it. They'll just slide forever until they reach dry land. Alright. I'm gonna go there. Fine. I'll put you there. Okay. Let's, uh, oops. Put them on a downward slant here. Oh yeah, that's good. <laughs> Alright, well, I'm just gonna leave those two there. Good luck to whatever skidmer wants to try to impale those out of the wall. You know what, I think that's good. We'll just leave this area. This will be a fun little skidder track. And then, um, let's grab the helicopter that we sold. <laughs> Buy a new one here. And we'll come pick up this ride. We're gonna drop it off in another area. Now we can just do a crazy clear cut. I don't even care how pretty or ugly it is. Oh, the big sticky. I think you mean the forest grass. That's my guess. Um, so I don't really have a way on the old maps to make it so it clears that ground. On the new maps, uh, when we do move to 19, that issue should be resolved. Oh, hey, I can follow the trail. Let's go check it out. So we're going to make it so, like, uh, Chad's working on the ground right now so that we can um, be able to plow your own roads, basically. So it clears the grass, clears the shrubbery, or whatever, everything. So hopefully we can translate that over to the, uh, the new game. That's kind of the plan. Yeah, I've seen got a nice little road. And it kind of gets a little wacky here when we get a little bit higher. That should be a good enough for, uh... Should be good enough for practice, anyway. Now, I don't know where there's any really good clear cuts on this map. Probably that hill would be the only one I can think of. Let's go for a tour here and see where we end up. So, that's our little road there. I want something flat though, like I don't want to get too crazy a turn. Maybe... Oh, this section draw here is looking That one's looking flat-ish. Over in this little section here. Maybe be skid worthy. Oh, my chopper's starting to do the sideways thing. Balance out, buddy. Chill out. Yeah, let's check out this little block down here. I mean, it's not perfectly straight, but it's, uh, it's a lot flatter than some of the other areas, so... Alright, now we're gonna plant. Oh, actually, we can sell this this time. This will be the last cut for sure. Alright, okay, that'll be our next hill. I just gotta run to the washroom real quick, so I'll be right back. Hang tight.
Alrighty, where were we? Back to battle. So yeah, up here should be actually pretty decent. I mean, if I clear all our decent pile of this, this might take a minute or two, but I think we can uh, accomplish it. So, uh, there's no place like home. Might as well just start shopping here. Now these piles might be a little more messy. Some uh, don't really care about these quite as much. Oh, turn around. We'll get your friend too. Because you're not carrying these down a long path, it'll just be like you know mass cut. I'm not too worried. Saved it in a really freaky way. <laughs> yep, that one has dropped nice. Great. The skitter shields for. trees don't really sit in the grapple super tight so you gotta really grip up on them. And I'm just gonna drop these right here. And you're coming with me too. Charlie Clark, what's up, buddy? Oh man. Bitchy. I guess that's where the next boss is gonna go. Because the simulator fate has spoken. when you're bunching, especially in this game, because like I said, the trees don't have like a rubber rigidity to them. They're just these brutal, solid objects. So even if you bop against the tops of other trees, it's just like horrendous mess it makes. I don't want to go up this hill because I'm so done with hills for today. Oh man, it did it again. Oh, no bugger. My uh, cut note on the head's a little bit wider, so if you kind of hit a tree off to the side, it, it cuts it. This map is uh, Larkin Springs, it's called. It's uh, one of the FDR maps. You can get it from the download link there. 
in the video description. It's actually one of, I really like this map, one I remember making a long time ago. And, uh, you know what actually inspired this map was the game, um, what is it called? Oh, the Hunter. I was so enthralled by the environments of that game, like how good it looked, that inspired me to make this. make something similar. And this is kind of as good as we get. Oops. I guess that one's going back there. I said clear cut, not perfect clear cut. <laughs> One thing I'm gonna try to do on the new game is get a more precise cutting head. It's all about those cut notes. Absolutely. Hate them. I wish it actually had like a physics physical cutting surface instead of like a little node that determined it based on the XML. That would make uh, life way easier too be able to cut things if only to use like the emitter shapes instead as the cut things that'd be pretty cool John I think you're talking uh, like collection claw I think is what you're referring to the one you can open one to lock um, there might be a version of that coming out I had one a long time ago that I did make with the collector arm on it but the problem was too many people um, couldn't figure out how to use the bottom one or people who use Xbox controllers couldn't map that other one because there was no more buttons to use. So I got rid of the collection clocks. It was uh, just too big of a complaint for a lot of people. But I might uh, I might design a new type of one and do kind of a advanced version and maybe a simple version of the same machine for people who want that collection claw again. I don't mind the collection claw when it works. The problem is it's uh and some of these trees that don't really don't really do its job very well. Joysticks. Time for new joysticks. Glitching out on me here. Whoops. Start slipping down the hill. I'm just gonna grab two more trees to complete our pile.
Alright, now we can uh, start on the bottom section and start dropping them. Actually, let's, let's, uh, I just want to round off this corner just so it's a nice clean edge. What's up, man? How you doing? I have to have music. I have no choice. I can't bunch to silence and talking to myself. Not for this long. I can do it in the little 10 minute videos I do, but there's no way I can go without music. And this is the only fun music that we're allowed to have on the YouTube channel without getting copyright strikes. So although it may be lame-ish music, it's better than having no music. Kind of like listening to our local radio in town. Nobody wants to listen to it because it's a horrible thing, but when you're working and you need mindless background music, this is uh, what you get. And I'm not very picky. It's like processing. It's so hard to process in this game without music. Just like, forget it. I mean, if you're having conversation with people and stuff, like, you know, actual talking to people, it's not so bad, like a multiplayer or something, then I can process for, you know, hours, but doing it in this, um, these long pre-cut videos, oh my god, if I didn't have music, I would be probably dead right now, without a doubt. My survival rate would go from 10 to 0. Um, I've run this in-game buncher a few times, that's for sure. Once or twice. These are weird, funny fake trees to infer what Uh, I think I'm just gonna lay these kind of like on the corner here. I don't know if that'll stay there or not. We'll try. Now my plan is to kind of offset my bunching piles a little bit if I can. Sounds like this music reminds me of music from like a soft core pornography show. That's what it totally reminds me of. <laughs> those, those late Saturday night satellite television shows. <laughs> uh, life's funny. Isn't it? Oh man, I don't like how those are crisscrossed. I'm afraid to go like this though because I might mess it up. I never said this channel was PG-13, I think we'll be alright. Eh, you know. Now, like I said, we should be able to offset these because of the length of the trees is not very long. So we should be able to put one there. And throw a couple in here for you. Okay. 
And I'm gonna try to do like a little photo shoot with this thing afterwards as well. Our files, I don't know how we're gonna get good pictures of that, but we'll try. What do we got here? One, two, three, so we'll grab this, whoops. Easy now. Four. Nice. And then we'll put the rest in one more pile right by the road, I think. And we'll kind of backdrop it right in here. This only spot doesn't really have a have a home yet. Two trees and one on that one. Two trees inside a tree. Okie dokie, smokey. Perfect. Yeah, I don't doubt I could uh, go work in the bush. But right now, with uh, the jobs I have, the jobs I've worked at for the last few years, with the mill and my other job, I mean, I make just as much as somebody does in the bush anyway, so maybe maybe a teeny bit less, but with taxes and everything, I make about the same. And I get to come home at night, be with my wife, sleep in a bed that's not a wall tent, that's always good. I was in camp, I did camp for like three, four years, so. That was more than enough for me. I used to do um, core cutting, find IP crew, drillers helper for a bit. I did all that terrible stuff that I don't like to do anymore. So being able to, um, you know, still do this kind of stuff for fun and uh, still make good money by going home every night, I would rather keep that job. I mean, ultimately, I love running equipment. If I had no other jobs, I would definitely go for it. But I just stay on camp sucks. You have to be. When I was single, I didn't really mind so much. But um, now that I'm married, it's like who the hell wants to go stay in a camp with a bunch of grumpy people living in the same wall tent? No thanks. And like I said, if it was the only work in town and like, you know, it was work at McDonald's or go to camp, obviously I would go to camp. But like I said, I got really decent jobs that I've worked at getting here. So look at that. Beautiful, eh? Beautiful pile of knockdown wood. I kind of want to clean up this corner too, just a little teeny bit. And then we'll, uh, I think we'll begin. And we'll throw that in here. I'm just going to put these kind of in this little valley here. That's my plan. So I just want to get this corner kind of knocked out of it. Right, let me cut the top off that tree as well. Good, great. There's a tree in here somewhere that I kind of want to kill. I think it's right in front of me here. Like right there. Oh yeah, that's the one. That looks good. And we'll just clean up this right off this edge here. Get all these out of the way. That way when uh, whoever's coming in here to practice skid, you'll have lots of room to whip the tail ends around. And I really gotta fix the length on this puncher head. Apparently it's pretty ridiculous. I haven't done a clear cut in a while. I guess that's uh, why we get to find out. Uh, this little piece can just go lay sideways over here. I think I'm going to put all of these in the same pile, I don't really care. 
that one, and that one. Mm -hmm. And we'll grab these two and we'll call her good. joystick's so weird like the button's so worn out from all the years of abusing this game that um if i tap the on and off button it just turns it off then right back on again <laughs> so annoying all right we've got ourselves a pile now let's go uh do a backtrack and take a look and see what we got here so yeah you know what this should be good enough for skater practice between that trail and then this little mini clear cut over here um, I think that'll be more than enough for people to get their skidding game on for for practice. If you can do both of those, I think you're ready for logging. But yeah, anyway, I'm gonna end the video here because we're kind of at the end of our end of our plan. Um, if you guys like the stream, definitely leave a like, leave a comment. If you haven't subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button. And uh, if you're in the bush, don't forget to hug a tree. All right, guys, we'll catch you on the next one. See ya.